friends fry, our friends try. A yummy, 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 yummy friend fry, a friend try. A yummy, 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 yummy friend try. You eat me for breakfast. You eat me for lunch. You eat me for dinner with some hamburgers. <laughs> As French as they may seem, and France was not where they came to be. <laughs> the French fry is the best part of a happy meal and the worst part of a heart attack. French fries have been in the diet of average Americans for decades, but but fr the French fry is highly unappreciated. Most people know very little about the common fry. But after this, listening to the speech, you know where they came from, how they are made, and what they are made out of. It's out of the freezer and into the fryer for this speech. The trip of the Hummel fry is kind of a tearjerker, so be prepared. Despite the name French fry, they are not they are not actually French. In fact, the French gave the potatoes to the pigs and never ate them. They thought the potato caused diseases, and the fry has actually been traced back to Belgium, where historians claim potatoes were being fried since the late 1600s. According to Belgian lore, poor villagers in the Meuse Valley ate small fried fish they caught. During the winter, the river would freeze, making fishing nearly impossible and the villagers to find other sources of food. But since McDonald's and Burger King weren't there, everything was almost hopeless. Enter the potato. The villagers were slicing, dicing, and frying it the same way that they did fish, and thus the french fries were born. Little did they know that they started something humongous, but even the Belgians needed help. In 1537, the Spanish encountered a village where all the natives had fled. And in their food stores, they found, you guessed it, potatoes, which they initially called truffles. Twenty years later, they brought potatoes back to Spain and Italy, where they didn't really grow that good, and they were small and bitter, and nobody liked them. But they grew more favorably over the years, and they caught on all over Europe. In the 1800s, the French sold them by cart, calling them frights. Then the British brought them to America, and the fast food chains made them what they are today. Bel Even today, Belgians eat the most French fries in Europe, but Americans take the cake by eating over 16 pounds every year. The French fry is an adverse, adaptable creature. They can be almost any shape. Waffle, curly, and steak are just to name a few. What, are, what fries are chips made by turning the potato before sliding it over the grater and just frying once? They are also known as crisscross fries. Surprisingly, the holes in the potato serves a purpose. It allows it to cook faster and more thoroughly. Curly fries are kind of French fry characterized by their unique shape. They are made using a, they are made by using a specialized slicer. Steak fries, or what British call chips, are thickly cut wedges prepared the same as French fries, usually served as a side with steak. French fries can also be made out of almost anything friable, like carrots, parsnips, or pickles. Many restaurants have claimed to be the creator, but they actually belong to the Belgian potato. McDonald's and french fries go together like obesity and fast food. But how are they really made? McDonald's french fries are made from potatoes, much like the originals. They cut them into the shape of fries, and then they treat them with dextrose sugar. When they cook them, the sugar tends to caramelize, causing sugar ends, which are dark spots on the ends of the fries. So they cook them in hot water. It reduces the excess sugar. Then they're treated with sodium acid phosphate. They turn gray because the iron reacts with the phenolic compounds in the fries, discoloring them. The sodium acid phosphate slows down this process, but it won't stop it. Normal fries are a way different story. First, you fry them in boiling fat and just a little bit of salt. Then, you fry them until they're golden brown, and then you drain. Since there's no chemicals, you don't have to worry about all the since there is no chemicals, you can just eat them out of the pan. It's not that big of a worry. And late, earlier in the 20th century, French fried was made as deep fried, like for onion rings and chicken. But the modern world has changed a lot of things. Time to clean up the crumbs. The Belgian fry is an interesting creature. Coming from Belgium and making the empire to America, they're soon going to take over the world. Next is space, but the low gravity would make them soggy. <laughs> but we're getting ahead of ourselves. The french fries are amazing, and everybody loves their heart attack taste. The french fry came from Belgium. They can be almost made out of anything, and they are almost any sheep. This is us signing off. Stay salty. Stay salty. <laughs>